about time for another coach life. So I listen, I re recorded one already, but coach pulled up and then we had to build about the game yesterday, which was crazy bananas off the gills of bobs. But I, uh, I mean, I went through every emotion. Yo, Peanut pulled up, behind, went with us to the game. It's crazy to have Peanut behind, Mo, Don, like these are all, they don't gotta show up. They just, it's love and they, they, they hoop before. You know what I mean? It's just amazing people just pulling up, showing love for just off the strength. Man, I felt like one of the luckiest people alive. So uh, I was building with Subs on some legendary joints and just connecting all the dots. I'm like, yo, we got to do something. We got to do something major to celebrate us because we really out here doing beautiful, heartfelt, like tough work. You know what I'm saying? It ain't easy. Nobody's life is easier. It's not like we just lackadaisically just linking up and having a brew or something like that. Nah, like we going to, we went, yesterday we had to go take the train downtown transfer. Do you know what it's like to travel with 20 teenagers in a, a mixed group? rush hour <laughs> on New York City subway. You know how many situations you have to navigate and then we just just to get to the game and then we go to the game and the school energy is crazy and every game we have is an away game. Like we have zero home games. We have technical home games, which are Uptown Harlem 135th at the Kennedy Center. We're in Gramercy. It is what it is. That is, it makes us. That's what I'm saying. We gotta do something to celebrate us. We really been rocking, and and the, the, it's one thing to see people become amazing human beings. It's another thing to see it and be like, damn, like you you deserve something for this. Like I'm I'm not capping at all. Like we have to do something because it's a it's a beautiful moment to experience. I felt very, I felt like the richest man in the world, to be honest with you. Um, we took the D train. <laughs> we had to transfer to the D. <laughs> uh, I can't even use that for coach life. It's crazy. But um, I've been accused of being many things. Mature is not one of them. You heard? <laughs> but uh, let's see. Yesterday's energy was wild, but I wanted to talk today about, what's today, January the 6th. I wanted to talk about insurrection. No, resurrection. Either or. There's an energy that's alive right now, an energy of change where you know the, oh, that's crazy. The meek shall inherit the earth. Meek meaning humble, but strong. I think that that's where we need to focus our energy now. We tried the capitalism uh, by default, American by default, everything by default or through force and then by default going with. So everything that wants to just progress forward, progress, let's keep moving forward, keep moving forward. Yeah, cool. I'm gonna move forward, but I'm gonna also make sure that we elevate in the right people. So in any situation that I'm in, where there's leadership involved, I'm gonna question the leadership. Is, are, are, are they leading me? If not, I got faith that it'll work out. But if it's in front of me, it's something I need to work out. You feel me? So, insurrection, resurrection. Oh, it just so happens also today is the one year anniversary of whatever happened at the White House. I don't really pay attention, but it looked like madness. It, and also, I hate to say it, but it don't look like it's my problem. It didn't look like it had much to do with me at all. So, I'm just lead that there. But uh, yeah, I was just finished building with coach about the game. So the first coach life, I had to dub it. But this one, hopefully you get the vibes of it and uh, I can keep it under five minutes. Ciao.